Hi there, I haven't recorded a video for a while, so it uh, gives me pleasure to record one after a, a break. And I, I always like to cover um, lesser well-known titles and or publishers, so um, it's with pleasure that I'm doing that today. What you see before you is um, the map. Um, it comes in two map sections, a paper map um, for the game... Chluzin 1610. I don't know how you pronounce it. Chluzin. It's Polish and it's from Polish company TS. They've updated their logo. I have an older title and then um, they are Tacticia Strategy. You know, Strategy and Tactics the other way around. They have a magazine, the last two issues of which have been have the English versions. And uh, I met the designer and the owner of the company at a small game convention in here in Italy at the weekend, where he was selling lots of these titles. Um, they're on sale on Board Game Geek for twenty euros each. He sold them there for twenty five euros each. But um, so what do you get now? I think I just the mat's upside down, so I think I'm going to do it like this. So I think I just showed the picture upside down. It's a, it's a lovely picture. Essentially, this is a game about hussars, uh, an astounding Polish attack of their classic hussars against um, Russian and Allied forces. So you've got some British forces, some German, something else. I don't remember, maybe they're French. And then these green ones are the Russian units. Um, uh, uh, the yellow ones are the... Um, Polish units. So you, you get all the standard stuff. It's hex and counter. Here's a typical counter. Um, this one's a Polish hussar and um, they're quite thin but one thing I would s not, not terribly thin but one thing I would say for them is they're this kind of like plasticized um, cardboard and they just pop. Oh, where was he? <laughs> Remember. Anyway, they just pop out of the sprue really easily. Um, so uh, no counter clipping on these fellows. One other thing you do get is you get a, a just a sort of small a thin cardboard sheet of these which show um, barricades or fences, and you have to mount those unless you just want really thin sheets. So I just quickly mounted them and you cut them out. So um, there's. Three scenarios included in the game. One's a free setup. One is the historical setup. So you have the Polish camp here. Um, you have a Russian camp here, and they have some barricades set up around that. You have the Allied camp here, some barricades set up around that. There's a town there. You have these hills. There's a town, and here's the river, um, uh, swamps, and a forest, and essentially uh, the. Polish were vastly outnumbered, but they launched a massive hussar attack and kind of decimated the um, uh, Russian centre. So they fled back to the camp, the Allies fled back to their camp, and at the end of the day, the Polish had won the field. Um, I chose the a slightly smaller scenario, so you have 20 turns. I start on turn 5 with the second scenario, which is called um, Charge of the Russians, Charge on the Russians, and so it depicts... Um, the Russians having just taken the charge, so you set up kind of um, with the forces back in camp, and some Russian forces are already taken off map. They've they've been depleted and run away. Uh, so I would like to try it again from the historical setup. Um, now, what else can I say? Just as a way of introduction. So it's a very, yes, you get the, the rule book. This one's in Polish and uh, it's only 12 pages long, which includes the one, two, three scenarios. So they just have a brief description, the setup and the victory conditions and some special rules. And then it also includes two pages of tables, which are also reproduced on the map. So I just... Uh, 
there's a web link I actually put it on I had to send an email to the designer to get and he emailed me the English rules but I uploaded them to Board Game Geek so you have the English rules that are seven pages of rules and uh, the scenario is also on there in English so um, you're good to go and the system is is um, a simple enough system you have uh, each turn you have I go, you go, and the first player, they fire their artillery. Then they have a movement phase. Uh, within that movement phase, there's a possibility of a counter charge from your enemy. Then you have the attack phase. And then it goes to the second player. So, um, and there's, units have, let's zoom in a bit so I can give you a bit more detail. So um, a unit such as this Russian one here has um, zone of control in these hexes. Um, so other units can kind of move around behind uncontested. Um, so for example, the, the Russian unit, he's got movement factor of eight. Most of the units are horse. The, the, the Russians have some infantry and the Allies have some infantry. The Polish have one artillery piece and one infantry piece. The rest are all horses. Um, so movement factor of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Normally you've got some hills and so forth, but the terrain doesn't play a huge part in this. The fences are significant, but the point is that if someone's in your zone of control, you have to attack them. If you're behind a fence, you don't have to attack them. And uh, the combat is very simply done, but it's a, a little unusual. Um, again, I'll try and get a bit closer. 